Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. And I, it's pretty obvious, I'm at the beach. It's a beautiful day, but I just, it's like uh, about 12.30. And I was like, you know, I guess I'll do my Dollar Tree haul tonight. But I just couldn't wait any longer. I have so much cool stuff. And I have a lot of things to do. I have stuff in the back. I have stuff in the in the house. And I just said, you know what? I have a nautical haul that I've been sitting on for the longest time. And I'm going to the beach and I'm just going to do it. So that's what's happening. Um, I'm sure at this point you guys know. I found out from Pamela, from Pamela's World, when she put it in her thumbnail. And then I messaged her and... I was so grateful and lucky to get this nautical stuff because I probably wouldn't have found it if it wasn't for her, or at least not in its entirety. And it's so exciting that I got a chance to see the whole display and everything. So yeah, I just really am grateful to her for that because I am going to be putting a lot of these uh, to decorate my house, like in the backyard and stuff, so that I can put it on the market and have it re be really relaxing and homey and welcoming, which honestly in the summertime my home is but you know you just got to kick it up a notch and kind of stage it for my home sale i absolutely love this um home sign it's so gorgeous really really a beautiful sign and the relax sign with the little added uh sailboat is so cute i love it i really love it normally i would probably put this relax sign in a bathroom <laughs> because i think it's kind of funny like relax in the bathroom and you know I love to put the word relax in the bathroom because that's probably my happiest place inside my house I get to like shut the door and the animals can't come in I could like go on the internet take a bubble bath whatever but I'm gonna put this outside in the backyard behind the hot tub when I'm staging my house and I hope that it does do its trick I think they're really beautiful and they'll definitely make people feel like the house has a beachy vibe, which it does. I mean, I literally live down the block from this. So that's what makes living in a tiny house worth it if you get to walk to the beach. There is definitely a lot of really amazing stuff in this haul, but I'm going to try to do all the nautical stuff first, obviously, because that's what everybody came to see. Um, this is wrapped in tissue, which almost never happens, actually, but they actually wrapped it in tissue for me. And how cute is this? really adorable seahorse trinket tray. They also had a starfish and I think it was a dolphin. Or am I making that up? I think it was a dolphin. Maybe not. I don't, I did show them all in my walkthrough, but I chose the seahorse. I mean, I, I kind of love them all. I would love to have bought some as gifts for friends, but I just don't have time to store things like that right now. I'm really, really trying to get my family out of New York and into our home in Florida before summer is over. So yeah, so I just picked up one because I couldn't not get it. I just legit love it. And then I did buy these absolutely gorgeous um, galvanized metal. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize Wow, you know what? When I saw them, I honestly thought that they all had shells. And I didn't even realize I got one starfish one. I have seen other people hauling them with different... Um, they come in white also, but I love galvanized metal. Except as I have my fingers inside of it right now, I'm like scared I'm going to cut myself. But I, I only noticed that this one had the shell and then I just picked them up and was like tossing things in the cart. It's like a white, beautiful shell. You could put a real citronella candle in here. These are so gorgeous. But I actually kind of have an idea for these. And I'm going to be sharing it in one of my... <coughs> oh, my allergies are off the hook today. <coughs> ay, ay, ay. My allergies are off the hook today. The pollen is like just floating around and just killing me as I speak. Um, I have a really cool idea for these actually with those Dollar Tree book ends, but I haven't, they're not here. They're actually in my other truck. I hauled them the other day, but I'm going to share the idea with you guys because I have like a super cute idea of how to turn these into like wall sconces and they'll be really two bucks each, but so inexpensive and super cute. 
And uh, yeah, so I bought these in galvanized metal because I'm going to be spray painting the bookend part white to hang them on because those bookends have like little holes in them. I'm going to spray paint them, put them on my fence, and then put these on and maybe even put a solar light inside of them. Oh, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, that'll look super cute. I'm obsessed with solar lights. So I absolutely love these and they're going to be upcycled. So definitely stay tuned, stay tuned for that DIY. It'll be super cute and really easy. And then I bought a bunch of these. I wish I had bought six of them. I only bought three. They had a ton in my walkthrough I showed because honestly, I wanna put some on my nautical shelf that I have across my doorway. And I wanna put some in the front. In the front of my home, I have these white rocks with lots of nautical stuff. But I actually think it'll be so cute to just lay these in the rocks so when people are coming up the walkway, they get that beachy vibe. Um, I kind of wish I had bought more of these now, but I might find more. You never know. My absolute closest Dollar Tree hasn't gotten these in yet, but I was told that they are going to get them. So I'm going to be on the lookout. I will definitely pick up three more of these because those are a score. And get a load of these, you guys. I mean, what? And you can even, honestly, you could do this with them so that they're a double-sided sign, which is probably what I'm gonna do, and then glue some nautical twine or nautical rope on the side of it because I don't like that they're not double-sided because I'm thinking of putting them on my counter in my kitchen. My house has a very bohemian vibe, but I just feel like to make everything really cohesive, I wanna make everything sort of nautical. So people are like, ooh, I'm right at the beach. Cause on one side it says, relax, the beach fix everything. It doesn't say fixes, it says fix. So it's kind of amusing that it says that. <laughs> relax, the beach fix everything. It's sort of like, a, I don't know, what movie is that where, relax, the, be the beach fix everything. Like, um. What am I thinking of? Oh, Frankenstein. You know how like Frankenstein, he doesn't speak like that. He's like, fix everything, master say. Yeah, so like that. It says, relax, the beach fix everything. But um, it is pretty rudimentary. The beach does fix everything. So I agree with that. The sentiment is true, even though I don't know about the, the sentence structure. So this one is accurate. It's a good sentence. I accept it. My brain can process it happily. It says, let the sea set you free. But for a dollar, these are beautiful. Very, very gorgeous. I legit love them. And like I said, I am going to glue them like that because I think that they'll be cuter. I actually got two sets of these because I'm probably going to use these in a couple of places. They're perfect for what I'm thinking of. And I just, I really love them. I do. I love, love, love this stuff. It came just in the nick of time. And the next items that I picked up are these, and they're gorgeous. They're going inside my fireplace with lots of candles. And I'm going to put these like beachy things, which I'm about to show you guys, inside of my fireplace with these signs and like candles. And I'm going to burn them at different heights. And it's going to look fantastic. I love these. This says on beach time. I love this color is everything to me. I absolutely love this. This is going with me to Florida. That's how much I love it. And this one is not getting left behind either. Even though in Florida, like everybody's got these things. You can just go to the Salvation Army and find all kinds of amazing nautical stuff. But I'm taking these with me because it's a beach thing. I love it. Love, love, love this sign. Love it. Although I do love this color the most. This is my favorite. On um, Beach time is gorgeous. And then this one says it's a beach thing. And I did save the cutest one for last. It says a mermaid lives here. And I love it. Love it. I love all three of them. They're so cute. And I could just see them in the fireplace, kind of staggered with candles in between them. Yeah, it's going to look really very cute. I really need a lot of these. I should have gotten nine. Every time I'm thinking of anything I'm going to do, I'm like, I should have gotten more of these, but that's okay. I know more will come. All will come. So then I do have a bunch of awesome signs as well. I did, I did get this one and it says gone to the beach and it's gorgeous. This is like a corrugated, see the little rim, rum, 
what are these called uh folds so it's so cute it has like a three-dimensional nest to it and uh it has this beautiful comp i love the compass um i always love the nautical compass i love it love 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 it I even have actually in my house like this really gorgeous nautical compass off of a vintage ship. My husband like loves to collect nautical sea stuff because he's a fisherman. Poor man has not been able to go fishing in almost, he did get to go once last year, but it, it he was in agonizing pain and he is now waiting. We're waiting on the insurance company to approve um, an apparatus, which one of my subscribers is also, um, waiting on. I'm not going to say who, but, um, cause that's not, you know, appropriate, but it gave me a lot of courage cause we were really terrified when they were explaining it to us at first. Um, it is a device that they put through your spine, like they attach it to your spine and it, it, it goes inside your body. It's not like on the outside, it's on the inside and it stimulates the spinal cord in a pleasurable way to change like how the brain processes pain. So even though he's going to be in pain, it's going to be somehow alleviated. And it almost seems like unreal that something like that exists. But at this point, anything that will bring him relief because he cannot take medication. He's severe. He has severe like allergic reactions, physical and mental, where he blows up like everything they've given him he's allergic to because of the brain injury the brain is a mystery to this day that's even what the neurologist said so um we did collect and we will again collect lots of nautical stuff but i just love this compass so much whenever i see things like that even on the back of oh not this jeep my other jeep i have the compass on the wheel you know the jeep wrangler has like a wheel cover and I have the compass on it and it says not all who wander are lost. So that's how I feel lately. I, I just got really happy when I saw that because sometimes, you know, life throws us curveballs, and it's okay. Cause we're, it's okay. We still have like a course. I'm about to start singing the theme to the love boat because, because, uh, cause that song was like set a course for adventure your mind on a, oh, it said a new romance. That's right. That's right. The love boat, but everything nautical is running through my head right now. I can't, you guys know that I have like complete insanity going on in my brain at all times. It's like a blender in here. So this one says, let your dreams set sail. Oh yeah. Set sail on for a new romance or something like that. The love boat, but this is a lighthouse and I love it. I love it what it needs what this needs is to have a couple of jenga blocks put behind it and set it like on a like somewhere where you can put a light shining through it that's what i think it needs because i am going to be doing that this one is going to go maybe on my mantle this is probably going on the mantle and i'm going to put like a light behind it so that it comes on and at night it shows the light uh, yeah, and I'll probably put it in like a dish, one of those little plate stands that they sell at the Dollar Tree, because I love this one. I absolutely love lighthouses. And um, this one says home. It's so gorgeous with the sand dollar. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I, I had to buy them. They're going all over the house, all over the house. I want the people to be like, I live at the beach, because that is really what my home is all about. Um, and this one again has the compass, love it. And it says, you are my compass. And I absolutely love this. I actually, when I came home, showed this to my husband and he was like, oh, you love the Dollar Tree and you love me because <laughs> this is like our thing. We love this. We just love it. And, um, whenever like we go anywhere, uh, and I'll be like, wait, how are you going to find me? He's like, I will always find you. I mean, it's cheesy, but it's cute, right? Like, that's our thing. So, I just love this so much. Because I always get neurotic. Like, you're never going to find me. I, this is a big place. And he's like, I will always find you. But that's because I'm, like, loud and always talking to people. I can never find him, though. That's, he has to find me. That's the thing. Like, 
When I lose him, he's lost because he's quiet, blends in. He doesn't have bright red hair. So I, you know, but it is cute the way he says it. And then this one I bought, Ahoy, Life is Good. It's just so simple and adorable. This is going on my fence in the backyard. Wait, let me fix it. And the next one is gorgeous. It says, Ahoy, Life is Good. And it's just a simple buoy. It's like a buoy tag with this gorgeous little anchor on it. That's going to go on my fence by the pool. That is just beautiful. Beautiful. For a dollar? For a dollar. And these signs, they're a little thicker than the usual Dollar Tree signs. And see this like shore living decor? I'm sure you guys have heard it all already. I just took it off of here um, so I could really show you guys how cute it was. Um, this is like a thing that they're just testing out. I'm sure you guys have heard it all before, but you're going to hear it from me too. Um, they're testing this line out and not all the Dollar Trees got it, but I have a feeling that DT is pulling a fast one. I have this crazy theory that Dollar Tree is just pulling a fast one. I think they're going to bring it everywhere, but they just wanted to hype it up so that people went crazy over it. That's what I think. I don't know. I could be wrong, but I feel like more and more stores are getting it. I don't know. I don't know. Dollar Tree is slick though. They know. They know how to get us. If they tell us something is limited quantity, we're like, we got to get it now. And that's what happened. Cause I know I was like, oh, I got to get it all. I mean, I got basically one of everything and three of the things that I should have gotten nine of that I only got three of, but I did get multiples of things, but I didn't buy it all. There was a ton when I went. The next thing that I got was this anchor and it's a blue sign and it says home is where the anchor drags and it's so gorgeous. This is just gorgeous. I can't say how much I love these. Isn't that beautiful? It's beautiful. I mean, especially like for decor in a home like like I live a block I live like three blocks away from here my house the canal that runs into here is right on my corner so this kind of stuff is perfect for like my area I actually can't believe that all of the stores by me have not gotten it the store that got this stuff in was like 30 minutes inland from the beach which is kind of weird but thank you so much Pamela if it wasn't for you I would not have these trust me because I don't hunt like you do. You are way, way, much, you are a formidable huntress. That's all I'm going to say. My hat goes off to you. So, um, I love this one. I just love it because this could be like them thinking about their new home. I mean, I know it sounds kind of bad that I'm just thinking about how I'm going to sell the house using these Dollar Tree things, but hey, you got to use what you got to use. They're going to be happy here and I'm going to be happy in Florida. <laughs> And then this one, You Are My Anchor, I just think it's so cute too because um, it's going to look cute. It, you know, like I'm going to put them both on the fence and I'll put like the beach stuff in the middle in like a bucket. Like, I mean, I'll put all the pool stuff in the middle in a bucket by the pool. And this one says, um, Ahoy, Life is Good. And this one says, You Are My Anchor. But I'm going to put some anchors on the fence. And I'm going to put the bucket of like pool stuff in between and it'll just be so inviting and the colors go so cute together. I just think it's so happy and cute. It's going to be very cute. And I did buy these two, um, the blue one and the red one that day. And then subsequently since that day, I have found the white one. For some weird reason, all of the white ones that I'm finding are damaged but this one is the least damaged one that I could find. I, it's so weird. Like I noticed the craziest things. On the day that I went to that store that was packed, I found everything, but all of the white ones that were left, the two white ones were like broken. Like they're all broken in the same spot actually. That one is broken too. I didn't find this one in, the, in that Dollar Tree. I found it later in a Dollar Tree that was cleared out but this was left behind because it is actually broken. You can see that it's like cracked, but I don't mind because I'm putting it in my backyard anyway. And the crack is so, so minimal, but I'm putting these in my backyard on the fence with those signs. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And 
it's just a dollar but the other ones were really cracked like cracked cracked this one is just uh but all of the white ones for some weird reason are like broken right there it's so weird but they're so beautiful and even for like the fourth of july this is like beautiful fourth of july nautical decor gorgeous gorgeous for three dollars so like my fence decor is gonna be like five bucks and it's gonna look killer and the sconces I'm gonna make are gonna be six bucks and they're gonna be like nighttime solar lights or nine dollars actually um and that's gonna be killer I'm so excited and then I did get two bags of these cute starfish because I'm actually gonna be making a nautical wreath um they do have nautical wreath forms the anchor and the starfish and I unfortunately did not get those that day but since then one of my subscribers who I'm gonna do a whole thing when it gets here I cannot believe that she did this for me she she saw my walkthrough uh, Tina I love you like I literally love you like we are neighbors best friends you are amazing um, she watched my walkthrough and she sent me a message and was like, you didn't get everything. I'm in the store right now and I'm seeing things you didn't get. What do you need? And I was like, oh, no. And she was like, yep. And she got me the anchor wreath form, which I'm so excited about. Like I could cry with joy. And these, oh my God, I can't wait to get it. I cannot. That was the nicest thing anyone has done for me in ages and ages and ages. This whole video is all about kindness in a way, actually, and generosity because I'm about to cry actually because there are some people that are not so nice but there are beautiful people in this world and I'm literally about to cry because Pamela like sent me a message and was like girl you need to get on this have you seen this and I was like what where and she told me where to go to get it and I have to do that that was beyond kind and nice and so wonderful and I never ever forget when people are nice to me even 10 years down the road I never forget when someone is nice to me they're in my heart forever and um, Tina that was really beautiful like she knows that I'm crazy for all things nautical and she actually when she watched my walkthrough knew which items I hadn't gotten she was like you didn't get this you didn't get this why didn't you get this and I was like oh my god I want a wreath form so badly in the anchor shape because I want to put shells I just want to make it like a whole nautical I just want to fill the whole thing with shells and beautiful things and see what it, I can't even speak now and starfish and so many people made this possible that's how I know that everything is working the universe is working to get my family and my husband and me and my pets safely to our new home in the middle of a pandemic we still haven't gotten vaccinated I have been trying and all things are gonna work out. I know that, I know that because there are people, places and things working all over the place to like make sure that we get everything we need. You know, my husband is gonna get approved. I just know, I just gotta keep doing what I'm doing and keep helping the people that I help the best that I can. Even though I'm trying to get rid of everything, I'm still buying, but not as much. I'm doing what I can. I do have lots of contacts in Florida. I have relocated a lot of people all over the country, but I have a lot of contacts in Florida. So when I get there, I'm still gonna be able to do what I do. I just have to sort of like pause and then restart. It's a lot, it's a lot. And I will be able to travel back and forth. But um, yeah, so I picked up a whole lot of starfish. I know I'm like all over the place because it's very exciting. The weather is beautiful and I feel like it's a rebirth. Like my family has been obviously in quarantine, but. We've also suffered a lot. My husband has been sick for a very long time and the possibility of him having a lot of relief from this constant pain is just so uplifting. I just want to see him be well. I mean, he's my husband. I love him. And I'm really excited at this possibility because I, I feel like this is the answer that we've been waiting for and it's just going to open so many new doors. Anyway, I'm back to the starfish again. They're in my hands. But I just am so grateful to everyone. I'm grateful to Pamela for letting me see these things and letting me get my hands on them because they're like a, like a key that turns the lock that opens the door to change. There it is. And then Tina, like a woman I've never met, 
a subscriber who has my heart. She's like one of my, she won my original giveaway and she was one of the very first people almost to subscribe to my channel that is not another YouTuber. And I just love her. I love you, Tina. I do. That was the so kind thing ever, 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 ever. Thank you so much. And um, there are tons of ribbon out there. I only bought these two because I feel like some of the things that I make, I will probably hang on. I'm probably going to hang the anchors on this ribbon. And I don't know, but I just said I love lighthouses. So I picked up this one as well. But if you didn't see my walkthrough, all of the styles of ribbon are in that walkthrough. The next item that I picked up are these old fashioned nautical laundry clips or cl clothes pins. That's what they're called. Sometimes I get that mental block. Um, clothes pins and they're also by the shoreline. So beautiful. I love shore living. I hope that they make a ton of stuff next year. I'm in love and they add coral to it. I would love to see coral colors added to the shoreline. I feel like, I'm not complaining, I'm not complaining, but this burgundy, I wish it was coral. I would have loved it a little bit more, but it's, a, but I'm still happy. I'm still happy, I'm not complaining. I'm just suggesting. So anyway, I love them. They're beautiful. They also have starfish. I did not see those, but I have subsequently seen them in walkthroughs. I would have bought those too, but seahorses are my absolute, absolute. First it's like mermaid, then it's seahorse, then it's starfish, then it's jute cord, then it's nautical. But that's the order of, <laughs> I have a list of my passions in the sea. Oh, and sand dollars actually, which they only had the only thing that had a sand dollar in it that I know of is this. I don't think anything else had sand dollars, which is kind of weird, right? Because they're up there, but those are like a whole little world of, you can't even, even in nautical stores, it's hard to get sand dollar stuff. But so these are really cute. I was actually thinking that I had bought more ribbon and I was like, wow, you really cheaped out. There were like seven different kinds. You only got two. What's wrong with you? I, I knew I'm never cheap at the Dollar Tree. I picked up these seahorse ones. Do you guys, I hope you guys can see how gorgeous that is. They're like two tones of seahorses with this absolutely gorgeous teal background. I love that. Um, I don't know what I'm doing with it, but it's going to get used. And then I did pick up this blue and white nautical rope. Hmm, maybe I should use that to hang the anchors on the fence. Yeah, I think I'm gonna string the anchors on this instead. And then I don't know what I'm doing with the ribbon, but I'm definitely gonna use it for something. But isn't this beautiful, this decorative jute cord? It's gorgeous, really gorgeous. Actually, it looks very legitimate. Like that's what the boat, this looks so real, like a real anchor. Cause when you're on a ship, I mean, they don't use jute cord, but it's always like a two color, at least, I don't know. You guys know what I'm talking about. It looks very legitimate and it has all these like breaks in it and like it's so like rugged and rough. I really like it. I'm sure people are going to do a lot of DIYs with it, but I'm just stringing my anchors through it and t intertwining it on my fence post so that they hang with those two signs by my pool. I'm psyched. These are not part of the shore living um these are not part of the shore living line, but they sure are shore living for real. Uh, this is the fairy garden collection and it's this really cute base. So beautiful. Um, honestly, I bought the base because I was like, the base is what you need to put all your stuff on. But the more I think about it, the more that I feel like I'm probably going to put this in the backyard uh, on my table and I'm going to put a pillar candle on it, a citronella pillar candle on it that I burn. So this is going to become a candle holder for outdoors in my backyard on my, you know, my backyard table, but it is not broken, but it is part of this fairy garden beach thing. And it does have these gorgeous shells and they're like iridescent metallic, very pretty. But then this whole little world of cuteness that I'm obsessed with, obsessed with it. I'm gonna put that all in that rock garden in the front part of my home with the nautical balls. And this, like, I feel like this is like, um, 
Okay, I know this is crazy what I'm about to tell you guys, but these are the thoughts. Like when I first saw this, I was like, oh, that reminds me of SpongeBob SquarePants. Did anybody else get that feeling or am I the only? I don't even like love SpongeBob SquarePants. But when I first saw it and I, and I saw that and I saw someone holding it, I was like, SpongeBob SquarePants. That's what I was singing in my head. And then I saw this house and I was like, oh, that's like for the girl on the show who, I don't know, like, is there even a girl on SpongeBob SquarePants? But none of them are female. Cause, and that's what I started think. I fell into like this whole place in my head where I was like, was there a female ever on SpongeBob SquarePants? Cause if so, she lives in that house. But like, this is the female of SpongeBob SquarePants. This is where they live. I don't know, but I love them. And this is not an undersea world. This is like the above ground world. Like could be, this is basically my house right now. This tiny little beach hut, two bedroom, teeny tiny little place, right? And then this is like this underwater world back here somewhere that we don't know about, but they're all gonna live together in the rock garden in front of my little beach bungalow. So I love it. I love, love, these are really cute really cute and I never found the be the Volkswagen buggy there is a Volkswagen buggy and I really want it I did not find it I did buy which is kind of huge compared to all the other things but I bought this in lieu of now that they made the buggy I I had a hat I didn't want this before I'm not you guys know how I always say the Dollar Tree will always get you they do I've passed on this a million times I was like, nah, I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. And then I was like, now I need it because I must get the Volkswagen buggy and I'm going to put the Volkswagen buggy in front of it, even though size wise, I don't think the buggy could pull this camper. It's like 10 times bigger than it, but it doesn't matter because this is fairy world. So I got to get the Volkswagen buggy to pull my little camper in the rock garden in the front too, because one side could be like camping world with this and the other side could be like sea world. And there's a lot of stuff in it already, but oh, still didn't break it. Awesome. There's a lot of stuff in it already, but I can always add more because that's like a large open decorating area that I do have available to me. I don't have a ton of decorating areas in my home, but when I do, believe me, I use them. And then I also bought the umbrella and I broke it, which is so sad because I broke it and I can't even glue it. I don't know where the other piece was. I paid for it. And when I got home, I just have the, it's in my pocketbook somewhere. Cause I've been meaning to go back and tell them like, I don't know what happened. <laughs> I don't have the top part. I only got the bottom part. I'm through my bags. And the only thing that I had was the bottom with the price tag and the little stick and the top part with the umbrella is gone <laughs> but they do have it and I did have it and I don't now and I don't know what happened to it but how cute is this little boat I actually think that these are so cute if you do get your hands on a bunch of them to put on canisters if you live by an ocean theme home you can put these on your canisters in your bathroom and they could become like or you could put like one of these, one of these, and make them like your, these are so cute for toppers. They also have these little ones that are like in the packages of seashells. You can put those on top of little jars. You could literally just take regular jars, spray paint the lids, put these little cute things or the three pack of shells that they have that are like this, or just take one of the boat and then some of the shells and upcycle empty jars and put whatever you want in them. Shells or candy or beads, but it'll be so cute and nautical and put some nautical rope on them. And for like a dollar, you can make super cute summer themed or candles, just so many things you could do. So many things you could do with just a couple bucks from the Dollar Tree. But I did think about buying three of these and making like nautical canisters, but I stopped myself. I stopped myself. I'm just going to put this in the whole little nautical world with the camper that I'm hoping to find that I haven't found yet. I bought these beach chairs and they're so cute, but what I've actually been using them for, which is not what they're intended for, is to, to cradle my phone in them. And they do have like a nautical theme, so it's sort of cute. Like I've been leaving this in my bathroom 
And uh, when I'm like bubble bathing or whatever, I put my, um, my husband's iPad over here and I watch YouTube videos and it holds them perfectly actually, which is cute because it's nautical. It's in the bathroom. My bathroom has always been nautical themed and they're phone holders. That's not what they're intended for, but I'm loving that use for them. I love them for that because that's really useful and it's not, now I don't have like an eyesore in there. And then I did buy this rainbow, which is like the path, like in the beach path to walk on or surf. I don't know, but I actually bought it because I was looking everywhere for my rainbow that I wanted to put in my little thing for St. Patty's Day from last year and I can't find it. So I figured I would just save this and use it next year for St. Patty's Day. Cause this is a really cute rainbow. Not for nothing, these would be really cute to hang in a St. Patty's Day tree too. They're really, really pretty rainbows. I love them. Love this a lot. And then I did pick up one of these teal laundry baskets. They come in cobalt blue and hot pink also. Actually, I did pick up the cobalt blue as well, but it's just not here. It has another haul in it somewhere else. You guys closer for the rest of my haul because um, I want to show you guys the makeup that I, I found. I actually have so much more stuff, but I, it's not going to fit in this video. I really overestimated how much I could get through. I did find these Juncture uh, totes and I absolutely love them. They're gorgeous. I love this blue one. In fact, like I like these shopping bags so much because they're just printed on. They have no like, I don't know. They're, they're so different than so many other type of totes that the Dollar Tree sells. I like this tote bag so much. I was even like last night in my head, I was like, I'm going to cut this bag, this blue bag up and I'm going to like cover all of the books in the house with it so they all match and then I was like okay that's crazy do not do that but yeah that's how much I love this print I think it's so so pretty so pretty so pretty I hope somebody does some kind of DIY with that bag because I just love it and then I love this one I feel like it kind of matches me today in fact when I go shopping later I'm gonna use this one I love it I'm wearing um like an uh like a Henley tee but long sleeve tea that I got from Walmart for like $11, but I just love, and I actually have army colored pants on, so I'm going to carry this tote and I think it looks so cute. It's like, I don't, I wouldn't even call it like, it is kind of like an animal print, but it's like somewhere between animal print and camouflage print in my, in my mind. And then look, and look at this happy bag of sunshine. Just look at that. Look, you could bring it with your extra stuff, maybe your beach towels. It's just a beautiful shopping bag. I cannot resist a good shopping tote. And then I know that there's like another bee bag out there that everyone is hunting for, but I was so happy to just find this one. I am going to be doing a bumblebee uh, DIY and I kind of wanted this for the background. So I definitely snapped up one of these. They're so cute and I love bumblebees. So it's just such a pretty 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 cute super cute I love this shopping bag love it this is some boring stuff but still necessities um I did pick up three of these little aluminum to-go trays because I actually like the to use these little to-go trays in my toaster oven you get three little trays that you could throw away and you can heat stuff up in it and cook it in there or whatever but it's just disposable or you can use them a couple times if you're just toasting or whatever in them. But yeah, you get three for a buck. So I just think that those are a really good size. You can actually fit a lot of things in here. Like if you're heating up frozen things, you can heat them up in here. And a lot of the time you just wipe it clean even. They don't even get really ruined. So they last a while and you don't have to use like real pots and pans and go digging in cabinet. You guys know I hate my cabinets. They're very thin. Everything falls out. I just don't like even opening the doors anymore. All I keep thinking is I'm moving and I'm going to have a normal sized kitchen in a normal sized house and I can't wait for that day to happen. I did show in my walkthrough that I finally found this cute guy. I absolutely love him. I think he was like paired together with an astronaut and something else. They weren't meant to go together, but they arrived like in the same box of things that they were shipped in. And 
Um, I just had not found the elephant. I kept finding the other parts that came in the box, but everybody snapped up these elephants. And you guys see this print is so nice. There's actually like this contact paper that Target sells, which is why I think the, these kept disappearing off the shelves. I mean, plus elephants with their trunk up are lucky. And I mean, just look at this cute guy. I, lo I love him. But um, there's this contact paper that the that Target put out that's exactly like this that people are decorating their walls with. So I know that they're going to fly off the shelves because of that because it's this exact print. It's so so cute and like earthy and you can even put this like in a in a rock garden it's actually a piggy bank but I'm ignoring that but I, I'm probably going to take this part out and maybe put it in like by the hot tub in the rock garden area by my hot tub because I feel like it will look cute with the buddhas that I collected over winter time and yeah I'm really excited that I found him he's so cute I love it love it it looks like it belongs like in an outside rock garden kind of thing I think or like a cute little area things out of bag so it's going to be more random than ever now I did pick up the hand sanitizing wipes the really great deal you get 120 in one bundle and I kept seeing other people haul them and I did haul the big tubs that I'm using right now and I just have to say the citrus scent is so delightful I can't handle how much I love it like I uh, I love it. It smells like tang. It's so good. It really, it smells like tang. So it's like a fun little thing to even use to sanitize your hands. And in these three packs for 120, you get a fresh scent, a citrus scent is in there and a berry scent. And they're all really nice scents. Really good to have. You need to still be using hand sanitizer. The worst is we still need to use hand sanitizer vaccinated or not. We need to still be diligent. Um, 120 wipes for a buck is unbelievable. Unbelievable great deal. And I'm grateful to be able to get these. I did get several of these because I'm going to split them up so that I have a lot. And I'm going to make sure that everybody gets at least one at the shelter when I do my next giveaway. Because there are three packs, but it's really easy to split them. You don't have to open them or anything. See, like they separate. And you get three for a dollar and each family will get 40. It's something. It's, uh, I do actually have a lot of hand sanitizer as well. So that's, that's good. But I wanted to show you guys that there are also these smaller, like pocketbook size ones that are three packs of 20. I personally, I just bought them to show you guys because when you see them on the shelf, you might be like, oh, those are the ones that Marina and every other Dollar Tree hauler in the world shared. But this smaller pack, honestly, it's not that much smaller in comparison, except for that, like, okay, I lined them up. It's not that much smaller. It's just not worth it. To, it's not going to save you a lot of space in your purse. Um, and you're getting double in here. So I just... I just bought it to show you guys. And I mean, I am going to give it out. It is what it is. But I ha hunted a lot of these out. And I bought up a lot of them in multiple Dollar Trees. Because I think that's an amazing buy. And I just think that anybody, you know, that you, you know, you know you're going to use them. So obviously, if there's nothing else, get these. But look and make sure if you're looking for these, that you get these. Because it's deceiving. Okay, okay. I just thought I'd throw that in there because at first I was like, oh yeah, I found them. And then I was like, no, I didn't. I found the little ones and I don't want old news, but I decided to bring it up because um, I was talking to a friend of mine the other day. And although I did haul these from the same store actually all at once, I don't think I ever showed them all at once. And we were discussing like how many colors this mascara came in. And I went and like dug them all out of the place that I have them because I'm getting ready to make up the makeup bags for Mother's Day and I just wanted to share that the bold and gorgeous hard candy mascara so far what I found um, all together were five different colors it was the royal treatment which is like a purple or yeah it's like a purple and then deep dive which is kind of like a bluish purple it's more like a blue or see the difference there I don't know if you guys could definitely see it but 
This is like a pinkish purple, and this is like a blue, cobalty blue mascara. Then there was Daredevil, which is like a burgundy. I love this one, by the way. Very nice. And then there is just regular jet black. And there is also Shooting Star. Now, there were five different colors out. When I found these, I didn't even realize at first that I had found five because they were just all hanging there. And the two blacks kind of look identical and the two purples kind of look identical. So it took a while for me to realize that there were five different colors. And I don't know if I ever actually really talked about them when I showed them and hauled them. So I just decided to make sure to let you guys know that there are five different kinds. So if they do end up in your Dollar Tree, later rather than sooner, which does happen, keep your eyes really peeled because they can all be hanging on the rack and you got to really look through it. At first, I didn't notice there were five different colors and they actually were. I found all of them in one store, which is really uncommon. So I think they're coming in like that. I don't know. The fairy garden, the little sugary tray that the fairy garden for sugary treats lives in. The fairy garden lives on this tray, but I didn't buy it for that purpose. I actually bought it because I think it would be cute to stick in my in my hot cocoa bar in the winter time. I bought a lot of the items from that fairy garden stuff for my hot cocoa bar in the winter. So I picked this up because I'm sure I'm going to do something with it in winter time months for a hot cocoa station. So I'm just going to put this away. I mean, it looks like hot cocoa-y, doesn't it look like, yeah, I just, I don't even know. Maybe I'll find a a mesh dome or whatever something will go here or on it or with it whatever but it's to me it's very gingerbread house looking to me so I'm saving that cute it comes with a fortune it's like Aladdin's lamp and you do get one actual littlest pet shop lucky pet there are 150 to collect it says it also comes with a fortune surprise I don't know I think it's really cute and I know I know I know that the kids that got this, the little girls that got it, absolutely loved it. So I just have two. Um, I have one at home in this one because I'm shipping them out for Greek Easter to some of my family members that practice Greek Orthodox Easter, but I know they're going to love it. Showed this in my walkthrough a million years ago, but here it is now, magenta, because Mabel is my first baby for baby so she prevails we got the magenta one not that it matters what color it is but it's a ball thrower and we do have like a long driveway so I just kind of could see myself chucking the ball and it going over the fence and breaking someone's window but I'm gonna try because I am like a bull in a china shop but uh it looks fun the ball launcher it's a beautiful day outside right now I just am so excited that the weather is getting better and I cannot wait to live in eternal summer I cannot wait Cannot wait. I love the summer. But this is so cute for a dollar. Isn't that awesome for a buck? Totally mixed up. I have things from like a month ago and things from like this week in this bag. It says bloom where you're planted. It's a Mother's Day. It's in the Mother's Day mugs, but it's not Mother's Day. But it would make a really cute Mother's Day addition. You could put stuff for your mom inside of it because I'm a mom and I liked it and I bought it and it says bloom where you are planted with this really beautiful wreath. I love it. I really am not allowed to buy any more mugs, but I couldn't help myself with that one. Show these little tin boxes in a walkthrough. They come in so many different styles. Um, but this one that says be your own beautiful, I did pick up because I picked up a bunch of makeup brushes and they fit perfectly in here. I'm gonna show you guys later, but I think this is perfect to store your makeup brushes in when you're on the go so they don't get all squashed and like wop. Like I don't like it when they get all bent out of shape. They're not good like that. And so, yeah, I picked that up for that purpose and I think it's a great idea if I don't toot my own horn. Pet stuff. So. The day that I showed the in my walkthrough the ball launcher, I did also show these, and I picked up two of them. One of them has a red ball with a star shape, and then this one is an orange ball with a heart shape and this cord, but these are amazing. My dogs have not ruined them yet, and the ball is kind of soft, so even the smaller dog, uh, well, Max isn't really smaller, but he does have like 
he doesn't have that lock jaw that um Mabel has because she's uh so she has that like pit bull lock jaw. Max doesn't have that, but he still it says Hem Abu. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know, maybe that's the brand name that it originally came from. Or the ball itself. The ball itself is kind of amazing, which is funny because it does have like a different brand name in it, but um, they haven't chewed through it. It amazes me because they chewed through every, even all the rubber toys from Dollar Tree. Well, Mabel chews through them. She is like Cujo. So this thing is awesome and I'm so happy I picked up two. They are thoroughly enjoying it. And when Max was little, Mabel used to like be chewing on something and Max would start grabbing it and she would like pull him onto the sofa but now they still do it even though Max could get on the sofa himself it's really cute and I love watching them play with these I have picked up so many scarves from the Dollar Tree lately shucks I thought that I had the other ones here too but I did pick up this gorgeous butterfly one absolutely gorgeous it has tassels on the bottom but it's actually not teeny tiny like you would think it is. It's a decent size scarf. Unbelievable that you can get something like that pretty and like just really pretty. Do you guys see the butterflies? Love it. Love it. I had a whole conversation with someone yesterday about butterflies and it's funny that I'm just pulling this out of the bag because butterflies are just really amazing things. They really are and I just absolutely love this scarf. I love it. And it's funny because I was just talking about all of the rebirth and everything. And I forgot that was even in the bag. And uh, the metamorphosis of life sometimes. And I love this one. Like, do you guys see the print of this bright, happy, crazy, gorgeous? This is beautiful. It's just, and honestly, it's summer. But I still, even though it's like warm out, I like to wear scarves still. I feel like my throat is always bothering me if it it's not always warm. I don't know what that's about, but I could see myself even wearing this scarf. It's not, scarves are not really, really long enough to double wrap, but in the summer, you don't really do that. If you're wearing a scarf, you kind of wear a scarf for the colors, but you can give it the like one little knot, you know, or like that, and then it'll match your outfit in lieu of a necklace or colored crochet sweater that I recently bought um, for like, two bucks at that thrift store that I was telling you guys about and um it, I, it wasn't a bag item but uh it was just two dollars and it will look so cute with this scarf I love the idea and I have like the same color long maxi skirt and I did pick this bubble gummy happy happy scarf because look at these colors like they're such summer fun happy joyous colors and I absolutely love the tassels the tassels are what make them really cute. I love the tassels. Speaking of bubble gummy, it matches this bubble gummy lipstick that I'm wearing today that I'm going to show you guys because you know that I went on a pink. This is so cute. It matches really cute. I, lo I love them. For a dollar, like you can't go wrong. And then these, now those were juncture scarves. So they're like really pretty prints, but they're not really the length that I absolutely love. But the prints sold me because you don't have to wrap them around in the summer. But then these by Ashen. Now this one is like neon green. I mean, I love neon in the summer. But the thing is that when you actually see how big this scarf is, it's going to blow your mind. It doesn't seem like it's a really big scarf when it's in the bag. But then you take it out and you're like, what? And I love the black and white with the neon. I just absolutely love it. Love, love it. And this does have the length to do the double wrap. So if you want to wear it like, you know, in the fall or whatever, you can. I'm strangling myself right now. I don't know why. But you actually can. It has the length. So I think it's really fun. Really fun with like neon hoop earrings I just could see it and today I'm actually wearing these awesome earrings that I'm gonna be hauling I bought them on Amazon and you get like I think it was 20 20 pairs of earrings or 18 pairs of earrings for like $10 they were like 50 cents a pair 
on Amazon. And it's like an assortment of mystery earrings. I can't wait to share it with you guys. It's so fun. They're called like faux leather earrings or something like that. And you just buy like a mystery lot of them on Amazon. So fun. You guys see how fun they are? They're like, I, and they're double-sided and they're like faux leather, just a really fun, lightweight earring. I call them guitar pick of a giant guitar pick, but they're not guitar picks. In neon green, I bought several actually. Um, I did buy the scarf in neon green and I also bought it in neon pink. It kind of matches my nail polish. I love neon pink in the summer. I love that it has like stars in it. It's very like 4th of July done neon style. I don't know. I just love it. I love it. Love these. I bought several to give out for Mother's Day if people want that because I think that they're fun summertime and I think moms will appreciate it that I bought. I actually bought for Easter and because I got so backed up, I never even gave them away at Easter. I guess I'll add them to Mother's Day. Some moms might want them. There are these really cute notebook, like note, they're like notepads. See, they're, you know, they open this way. They're really cute though. And they have like dogs or cats on them. They're 80 sheets. They're by, um, they're by Jot, I'm sure. Yeah, they're a Greenbrier product. And this one says Possum. And this one says Catitude. So cute with the star-shaped glasses. And then this one says Furbulous. But I really love this one. This dog looks like Max. That's what Max's ears look like and the dopey, happy smile. So cute. Furbulous and purple. And then this one says Let's Potty. P-A-W. T-Y. Very cute. Isn't that so cute with this dog's little teethy smile? And then this one says Possum, but it's a, like a French bulldog. So cute. I love it. And then this one says Perfect with a cute slinky white kitty. No smile showing. We don't know what she's up to. But the really cute thing about these, which is why I was so excited about putting them in Easter baskets, I did actually buy like a whole box of these. So I did give out some, but I held these back to share and I thought that I would haul them in time to put them in with the rest of the Easter stuff and I didn't. And I'm not keeping them till next year. So I'll, maybe some moms will want it. Furbulous, again, really so cute in the makeup cases or pencil cases. And this one says perfect again. So they match. And I think that's cute. And possum, really cute. And catitude, really cute. Very, very, very 80s retro. These two are like super 80s-ish. Um, the Let's Potty. And then this one sucked me out. But I guess I didn't save one of those um, pads. But I love this cat. Really cute as well. They're so adorable. Little teenage girls would have loved these, or preteens. I'm so disappointed I didn't give them out. But you know what? I Honestly, my cars were way too packed. One of my cars broke down. It was at the mechanics. It's a long story, but it didn't happen. And I totally forgot to talk about them. I saw um, Pamela and then my family, Pamela from Pamela's World, and then my fairy treasures from my fairy treasures talk about these boiled peanuts. And I've never tried them, but I remember when I was driving cross country, there were like all these people selling them on the side of the road, like boiled nuts, boiled peanuts. And then Angie, Angie from My Fairy Treasures, she tasted them on her channel. Like, and she was talking about how Pamela got her to do it. Like, cause Pamela said that they were so good. And um, I like love both of those channels. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try boiled peanuts. I've never tried them, but um, yeah, I'm going to try them. This one says sweet heat and this one says salt and vinegar, but I just feel like they're so weird, right? Like, I don't know. Brand, they're by the bit, they're by a brand called Peanut Patch. Have you guys ever tried boiled peanuts? Um, I don't know. I'm going to try them at home with the boys. I'm kind of excited that I finally found the bag they're in.
And then in my last long haul, I did share some decor that I had found um, like these, the, the canvases. And it was, what was it? Mm, oh, London and it was Big Ben. In my... In my last long haul video, I did share sort of a mini giveaway that I did in that in that video of, and it was called Ooh La La. In my very last long haul video, for you, for those of you that watch my videos all the way through and actually enjoy them, you must have noticed that I did a giveaway called Ooh La La, and in it was a Big Ben canvas and an Eiffel Tower canvas and a Ooh La La palette and a caffeinated mask. Uh, yeah, a caffeine mask. Uh, I think it was called Americano. And uh, those four items were in a giveaway, like a mini giveaway, in my last long haul. Um, by now I have called, by the time you're seeing this video, I have not done it yet. I'm going to do it later tonight, but by the time you're seeing this video, I will have announced the winner of that whole, of that video. So if you have not checked to see if you're the winner, go and check to see if you won that so that I can send out that giveaway. But I'm announcing a new giveaway in this video because I couldn't help myself. I bought like a lot of canvases. They were so nice. So this canvas wall art set is called Relax and Renew. And isn't it gorgeous? Gorgeous. Really, really gorgeous. I really love it. And then it says unwind, bathe, soak, relax. And it has this beautiful, um, like mosaic, like tile, gorgeous print. It's really nice. And they're black and gold. And that matches a lot of bathrooms. I know that this will look really cute. People think I'm talking to myself in the car by the beach. That's uh, okay. Whatever. So then, and this one says spa, renew, refresh, clean, unwind, bubbles, wash, soak, bathe, relax, renew. I just love it. I love, 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 love words with fonts in different sizes and prints. I just think they're gorgeous. They have a lot going on, even though they're super simple. So in this giveaway, I also found, wait till you guys see, and this is going to be like a thing I'm going to start doing, but not everyone's going to know about it because not everybody watches the videos all the way through. So these, and I was like, what? Which is why I was like, I'm going to start a thing where I start a giveaway because I love doing little vignettes in my house, but I'm moving. So I can't do them anymore. Oops. So in this giveaway, I'm going to be giving away either this set or this set. Depending on which one you want, it will be your choice. You can let me know if you want the black, really cute trinket tray with the, um, it's actually like a bumblebee hive or what, uh, what is that called? A beehive kind of like. You know, I can't think of the words. Use your words, Marina. I can't think of it, but it's, it goes so good with this. Like, see how that kind of matches this and they look so nice together. I actually cannot decide which one I like better, the white one or the black one. But I'm going to ship out whichever one you like with it. So the winner will let me know if they would like the white or the black with the gold cap. They're so cute. Um, they're really cute canisters and, um, I did find them at the Dollar Tree and why can't I think honeycomb? Oh my God. That would have made me nutso honeycomb, honeycomb pattern. They have a cute honeycomb pattern in them. So this phrase is going to be relax and renew, relax and renew, obviously for obvious reasons. Oh, this way, relax and renew. And then, you know, whoever is drawn as the winner, I'll ask them which one of these they want because whichever one they don't want is going to be going in the next giveaway because I have something cute for that one as well. Or maybe not the next one, but I do have a few little secret giveaways in, that are going to be coming up in all of my long hauls because... I feel like now I have to bribe you guys to watch my long hauls. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, a lot of people do watch the videos all the way through. And I really appreciate that because 
I know that I wait a long time in between my long hauls and I know that my hauls are really long and I know that other people do 15 and 20 minute hauls, but I just, my life is impossible to do them that like that. It's just impossible for me. It takes so much for me to get it all happening. And I just really afford the people that do sit through the whole video and comment. And I just love sharing things that I find, honestly. And I'm finding really cute stuff, but I can't put it up in my house right now. So I want to share it with you guys. So relax and we do. We'll get this and check to see if you are the winner of the previous um, giveaway of the cute Ula Lamas stuff to haul. I really hope that I get it done in this video because once the video goes past the half past an hour and a half, it won't upload. It takes like seven hours to upload it. So I'm just going to try to go through it as quickly and as effectively as possible. Um, this true matte lipstick by Broadway Colors, I did show it a million years ago and I passed on it and it's still in the stores. Broadway Colors, I guess, wasn't snapped up as quickly as like other things do get snapped up. But then when I went through my pink kick and I've come to realize I like offensive pink. <laughs> I don't like subtle pink at all. You see this pink is pretty kind of pretty pink. I like pink like this. So this is it and I love it. It's a matte, um, it says tube indicates color and it sure does. It's very true to life. It's a very matte lipstick. Um, it doesn't come off. Well, it does smear a little bit, but it's very matte. It really doesn't come off on my mask though. So that, I mean, I rubbed it to see that, but I think it's a really nice lipstick actually. And I did pass on it many times. It's called, and that's the packaging. And I think it's great for a buck. I really like it. I can't believe I'm saying it, but I really like it. I'm using with the Truly Matte, this hard candy, hot pants, number 1279 as my lip liner. And I did share in the walkthrough when I found it that you could probably use it as lip liner. And that's exactly what I'm doing with it. And it's it's perfect for that. Telling you guys that I did buy this. Now, this is the moment of truth. I didn't buy them at the same time. Yes, they fit. I am so excited. I love keeping makeup brushes and things like this. They don't get bent. They don't get dented. The, the bristles, because I don't like it when the bristles start to go all over the place. That makes me crazy. And I did treat myself to new, bris, um, to new brushes because although I did buy one of these pineapple, I showed in a walkthrough. They have a bunch. I guess they're back or maybe they're old. I don't even know, but I think that they're back. But I love this pineapple one. It's so fun and cute. Um, I did get the silicone brush cleaner so I can clean my brushes, but honestly, sometimes I'm just like, oh, I don't want to wait for them to dry, and I just like to get new ones, but I mean, for a dollar, it's not the worst thing in the world to do, right? I mean, I, uh, you know, but I am going to wash them. I just haven't done so lately, so I did find this, which I actually love this size brush. They call this the Smoky Liner Brush, and I find that this is full. Uh, the smoky liner brush. So I've been using them because I bought several of these to also give away. Um, even right here, I have several of the same thing to give away for Mother's Day. Uh, I've been buying them in all the different Dollar Trees because they're out right now, actually, um, still in the stores. Everything pretty much that I'm sharing is still in some stores. Not every store. Obviously, you guys know how Dollar Tree works. You're not new here, but I don't know. I go on and on sometimes. Anyway, so the smoky liner, um, I like this brush a lot because it's kind of um, very precise, I guess. And you could really smudge like in a very specific area. I don't know enough about makeup to even shadow brush. Um, I, I bought it, but I, the bristles are like kind of, I don't know, it's more fluffy-ish than this one. So I feel like it doesn't make it very precise. And I don't like that necessarily on my eyes because I have hooded eyes and I'm really crazy about exactly where things go. Mostly I use my fingers, but sometimes I do use the, the eyeshadow brush, but I like these ones so far the best to put like eyeshadow on the whole eyelid. I like to do that. And then there's this large brush and this is really useful. I really like it a lot actually very good at like putting the concealer on and making it look 
like flawless. Um, I feel like that's really good for that. I did buy multiples of those. And then I'm not going to lie. I bought this because I was really intrigued by it. But if it has anything to do with tight lining, count me out. But I'm going to actually Google it later. I forgot to check it out. It's called a bent liner brush. Now, why, why would I want that? Can anyone explain to me why? Is it easier to do eyeliner if the brush is bent? Because, I mean, I could hold my brush. I don't know. It's called the bent liner brush. I don't necessarily understand why. Why? But I bought several and I'm giving them away. Um, let me know if it's stupid and I won't because I don't know what that's about. And then contour brushes. You can never ever have enough big fluffy contour brushes to put your blush or your contour. I feel like these are the brushes that I need seven of because I use um, highlighter, blush, uh, contour, face powder. You need a lot of these brushes. So I bought several of these. I have some in my bathroom. These are the ones that are also going into the Mother's Day stuff that I'm giving away. And these brushes are pretty good. I'm actually very happy with them. So if you see these and you need more and you need new brushes, snap them up. They're only a dollar. Why torture yourself? I mean, yes, do clean the other brushes. I do have some very expensive brushes that are honestly really amazing at putting foundation on, like a $36 brush. I have expensive brushes. So I do go out of my way to clean those brushes. But the dollar brushes, you can always... Um, use them specifically for the same thing over and over again because that's kind of what I started to do. I just use each one for the same color. That way I don't have to wash them all the time. And, you know, buy a few because I think that makes life a little easier. So that's what I did. Fail that I did find the fox in the box. Now here's the interesting thing about the fox. Oh, it's really very strawberry scented. Uh, it's hard candy fox in the box. Fox in a box, and I believe that this is, oh yeah, this is a marbleized baked blush, Girl Next Door. Now, this is nice because it's, um, it's a strawberry scented blush. It's pink, so it will look really nice on, um, very fair skin or very dark skin. It is a very light, light pink, so it's very versatile. Now, the thing about Fox in the Box is Fox in its box is that when I first saw these getting hauled, I never found one. I could not find it for the life of me, and I was kind of sad. And now I'm, like, really happy that I have it as I'm looking at it again because it is really nice. Um, regardless, I didn't, find it the I didn't find it the first time. And when I went to the Bayshore store, um, that was the first time I was there, and I found those gorgeous bowls, I found one fox in a box in a wrong spot. And I was like, hmm could be a store return. Of course I bought it, but I was like, wow, I don't know whether it's back or it's not back or what the deal is with it. But, and I'm going to open it because it's so cool. But um, since then, I've come to realize that it's back, you guys. So be on the lookout for the fox in the box because I actually found it in a couple of stores since then. Like I found, I really, so cute. I really want to find like 30 of this because that would be something I could then give away but I did find a few wow it is so darn cute look at that it's in this cute little box right and it is tr oh it is <gasps> oh my god I love I love and it has this cute little nonsense brush that I'm so never gonna use in real life but still very cute should I make myself a clown here in public at the beach? Let's see. I love it. I don't know if you guys can actually see it, but it smells wonderful. It's just a light strawberry fragrance. And then you put it in there and then you, oh, and it's magnetic. I have to find 30 of these so that I can give these out. But 
Like I was saying, this is that. I found one, like I was saying, I found one originally. Then I found another one. I don't remember where I found another one. But the important thing is that today I found six of them in the in the Bayshore, the actual Bayshore Dollar Tree by Target, if anybody cares. I, I picked up six of them. I left a few behind, but I'm on a mission. And my friend Gretchen picked some up for me. She just did a haul and she picked some up for me um, because I sent her to get more because I want to give these out for Mother's Day. So once I reach around 30 of them, I could give these out. And I think that women are going to love this. Look at how nice that is. And it's so beautiful. The girl on the box is beautiful. This is just a cute, really, really cute item. So yeah, I'm on the hunt for more of these. But so far I have, well, I'm keeping one, six, seven, eight. And I think she might have picked up 10 for me. So I have 18 now. So we're on the hunt, guys. But be on the lookout because the fox in the box is back. And if you didn't get a chance to see my friend Gretchen from Gretchen's One DIY at a Time do her recent haul, check it out because she did find this in a few other um, really cool items at her Dollar Tree in Queens um, on her lunch break. So yeah, be on the lookout for that. It's back and I'm gonna one that I found that's not opened yet. And then I have like six in the trunk that I found today, which was, I was so happy to see them in abundance because now I know that I'll be able to get a ton of them. I just, I just know now. Paul, but I have started like counting up all the stuff I have and I'm just noticing like what the varieties are, like the mascara. Um, I have at all different times she's hauled or shared in walkthroughs the different shades of blush that are available. Now the Fox in the Box is also a blush, but by Wet n Wild, we do have this fantastic plastic pink and it is a beautiful blush. I got to admit for pink, it's beautiful. I've tried it. Um, I did get this Blazing Berry. It's also a very nice color. The Rose Champagne, kind of almost like a neutral, very almost like a contour. A light woman could even use this as a contour color. And honestly, you could use any of these as a contour if you choose to. Um, and this is Keep It Peachy. Very light, very natural look. Um, uh, cheek color. A very light, very natural blush color. But here's the deal. I obviously didn't find these all at once, but I have been buying them everywhere I go because I need to get like 30 and up. So I've been collecting them. And because I've been collecting them for my giveaways, I realized that these four colors are the ones that are available. So I figured I would share with you guys. If you have found one and it's not the right color, keep looking. These four shades are pretty much anyone could make it work for themselves with one of these shades. There's a lot of choices. Unity tab that I had found Milani. And I honestly, when I found it, I didn't realize that I had found a lot of shades. I wasn't really paying attention because I was with one of my clients and I was in a hurry. So I just grabbed like a handful just to share them on the channel. And because honestly, because the one that I thought when I first saw them, I saw this and it looks like a good color for me. Number four um, is called medium. Is that the color that I thought was good for me? Yeah. Medium. Yeah, this is the one that I saw. So I just grabbed a few because I thought it would be good for me. And what it is, is Milani Retouch Any Race Light Lifting Concealer. Dark circles, covers spots, blemishes, and imperfections, brightens and revitalizes. Now, I didn't even know that Dollar Tree sold Milani that morning. So here's like a crazy coincidence. That morning, before I went, I met, went to meet up with my client, I watched Pamela do a friend mail. And she was like showing this stuff. And I was like, huh, never seen that. And I was like, is it Milani from, I think is Milani's like from Dollar General, right? It's like a Dollar General's CVS kind of brand, I think. I actually don't even use Milani. I have no idea. But from what I understand, Milani's really good because a lot of the women that do designer dupes, they seem to always use Milani as their designer dupe. So 
if they're willing to use it because they use very high-end products, it must be decent or even above average decent. So when I saw them, I grabbed five for myself, right? Not realizing, because I didn't want to be rude to my client, not realizing that they were all different colors. So I got, and this is what's out there, I got a Milani number four, which is for me, and I'm excited. I'm going to use it, and um, it has like a cushion at the top. I don't know. I've never used it. I'll, I'll open this one to show you guys what it's like. Um, and that's what the package looks like, obviously. Um, it's pretty cool. I hope it doesn't explode all over me because it's a little hot in here today. We'll see what happens. Oh. Wow, it's a cute product. Yeah, it's way too sunny. You guys can't. But see how, like, it came out of the top? It. I like that it has that actually because all of the stuff that I bought from Wet n Wild doesn't have that little sponge and it always ends up all over me. But I know that I'll never be able to really show you guys the shade, but it, it has a nice texture. So I hope that works for me. I'm sure it will. Everyone speaks highly of it. All were, I thought I got five number fours, but I didn't. I got a number five. So the Dollar Tree is also offering... The honey miel. Oh, miel is French for honey. Duh. So this color is called honey. And they also have number seven, which is bronze. It's pretty dark, actually. Um, yeah, that one is a very dark tone. They have honey, five. And they also have number six, which is deep honey. Number five and six, I'm going to send to a friend of mine because I know that she loves this since I watched that video. So I'm going to send those to her. And I was, I mean, I have not seen it anywhere around here. So maybe it'll be here soon because the Bronx isn't far from here. But around me, I haven't seen these. And then this one, number seven, is good for a different friend of mine. So I'm going to send this to her. But I did think I got five for me. And see how the universe does not like it when I do that. It's like, no, 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 you have to share. My walkthroughs. Oh, no, I think I got one of these on Easter. On Easter, when I, like, basically scammed my family into believing I was dying of thirst, I just wanted to see what was in the Dollar Tree. I did get Pepsi, though. But I came out with one of these, or two of these. But here's the thing. Subsequently, I found more. But they're not the same. Look, 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 look. They're a little different. Just a little different. But I... Which one do I like better? Hmm. Better than the bare necessities. I do, uh, I think, because the Nude Awakening has more sparkly ones than the Bare Necessities, but I think they're both very nice, and I definitely love, oh no, I love the Bare Necessities better. <gasps> what? The Bare Necessities, these are Wet n Wild palettes. The Bare Necessities palette has the color that I'm obsessed with in it. What? Yep, that's the eyeshadow that I'm obsessed with that's been discontinued. That's it right there. I I don't know. It doesn't have a name, but I know that color. And on the back, it shows you all different ways to do your eyes. And on the naked, on the Bare Necessities palette, it shows Naked Eye, Smoked Out, Golden Goddess, and Wild Cat. And it tells you which number to put where. But on the um, Nude Awakening palette, it shows Naked Eye, Smoked Out, Matte About You, and Wild Cat. So the only difference are the ones that are used for the Golden Goddess or the Matte About You. So if you happen to have a choice and they're both on the same shelf, um, which they may very well be, I don't know, because um, they may be getting shipped together, I think. I'm almost positive because... I really didn't realize that there were two different ones until I found more of, I, I think I found the Bare Necessities first, and I only had two. Then I found a bunch of them, and I bought like 10, and I left some behind, and then in those 10, I found more of the Bare Necessities, so I think that they're being shipped out all together. I don't know, but I think that's, I think they're mixed. They're very similar um, palettes. I don't know. 
But, you know, Dollar Tree likes to be that kind of a mystery. So I do think those are awesome. Mother's additions to the Mother's Day Marina Ipsy bags. And I'm very grateful that I keep finding more and more stuff. I do have a few of the Ulala La palettes. I'm going to be able to put palettes in a lot of them. I actually still have some Galactic Eyes. And I still have a lot of palettes. Um, showed it in a walkthrough. But here it is. One of these Modessa mini pedicure kits. They're so cute. And I bought a nice bunch of these. There's five items in here. Um, you know, they have the nail scrubber, the toe separator, a really good um, nail clipper, and the little sticks to use to do your mani-pedi. And I think that this is an awesome buy for a buck. It comes in this nice package. It's not Greenbrier product. And it will definitely go really cute in a Mother's Day Marina Ipsy type of bag or in a mug, or whatever you stick it in with other things, it will be appreciated. This is a nice little gift. Want to share with you guys a ton of these awesome Dollar Tree jewelry items that I did find that I was so excited about finding, because these are also going to be wonderful additions to the Mother's Day bags. Now, this is one of my absolute favorites because it's the size that I like, but not everyone wears earrings the size that I wear, so it's good to have a variety of sizes. And um, these are like this. They're so cute. Do you guys see how cute those are? They're like black and white marbly tortoise shell. Very gorgeous. Really nice size. They'll hang like this, but they'll show when you turn your head. And I know that people are going to love these. I picked up several of those. I've separated out every style that I could find so you guys could see what it is. I have several of these. And now I love these. These are a little smaller than I usually wear earrings, but I absolutely love earrings this style. You guys know by now that I just love some hoopy hoop earrings, dangly 60s retro earrings. And these are so cute and summer and just so cute, so cute. And they're very lightweight. So I don't really like to wear ear. I didn't buy these for me, though. Um, I'm not keeping any of them. I'm giving them all away. Because uh, I know people are going to love these. Maybe I'll keep just one pair, but I don't think so. Um, I, I don't usually like to wear earrings that go through the ear and lock. I like to wear hooks because I have, like, I don't know. I just always wear hooks because I always rip my ears when I wear earrings like this. But these are actually very lightweight, which is a big bonus because when they're heavy, I definitely cannot wear them. And then I found this gorgeous, it's also like a hoop. These are also like a hoop, so they hang the opposite way. They don't hang that way that I, I like the, the hooky earrings hang, but they're so pretty as well. They're like a tortoise shell tortoise, but even if you like look at them with the light shining behind them, they're really beautiful. They, I wish you guys could really see how gorgeous they look right here in the sunlight on the beach. They're so beautiful. Maybe you can, and I'm like blinded by the sunshine right now, so I can't really see what you're seeing when you see the video. You guys know what I'm saying, but you know what I'm saying, because the camera gets all wonky in the sunlight. It's probably like ready to die because it's actually getting very hot in here, like a sauna. The sun is so beautiful right now. I'm so happy. And... I did get like the white ones, but these are in tortoise shell. These are the ones that I might keep. I absolutely love them. They're so pretty. Really, really pretty. They're also tortoise shell, but they have a lot of like depth and like shape. They're just unique and kind of cool. They're very cool. I don't know if you guys can see them, but they're very cool. And um, with the cool shape top and bottom. I also got them in white. Well, black and white tortoise -y looking. And the, oh, this is a multiple again. Yeah, I showed you guys this one already. It's the dangly one. I have like several, several, several. So I must have, my brain glitched on that one. And the octagon shape one in the black and white also very pretty. The only one that I didn't find several of is the round. This is the first one I showed you guys. I only found it in black and white. I never found it in regular tortoise. I know it's out there, but I didn't find it. But I did get several of this one and of this style that I just showed you guys. But that really big one, 
I never found it in the tortoise. And then they have this cute, really little earring. It, I, I think it's very little, but it, it has like definitely got a lot of appeal to it. It's very classy and cute. And if you have your hair up, it would be very, very pretty. Could even be for a young girl, whatever. I mean, it's up to whoever wants to wear it, but it does come. This is solid mother of pearl looking. And then this is tortoise shell. So this isn't marbly. It's like mother of pearl looking. Very pretty. Could even be like a wedding earring. It's really that nice, actually. It is dollar. A dollar. How? I just, it amazes me. And then, like I said, it did come in the tortoise as well. I'm not going to open that one. Use this at a wedding. I just wanted to let you guys know that it does have clips also. Like, I could see the flower girl maybe with this and this. I mean, it's really, really pretty. Mother of Pearl as well. Beautiful clip. Really, really nice alligator clip type clip. Gorgeous hair accessory. And they also have these tortoise shell bobby pins. Again, beautiful. If you have your hair in an upsweep, instead of using a plain old, plain old bobby pin, why not use a pretty tortoise shell bobby pin? Yes, thank you. That looks very high end for one dollar. Okay, like a gajillion minutes long. I'm going to have a lot of editing to do. That's everything I got to share with you right now. It's not everything I got at the Dollar Tree. Trust me. I have a whole other trunk full of things. It's all mixed up. I'm going to try to do another haul ASAP. Please go see if you were the winner of my last giveaway, the Ooh La La. And don't forget about this Relax if you won in the last giveaway. Go and see if you're the winner. I have announced the winner by now, by the time I upload this. And don't forget to enter in this video for the Relax and Renew giveaway. Good luck to whoever wins. May the most faithful watcher win. I'm just kidding. It's all up to the sister. It's going to win. It's going to win. But you must be a subscriber. You must be 18. It's got nothing to do with YouTube. I bought this stuff. It's mine. You're getting it with a tracking number via USPS. So it's all on me. And um, that's it, guys. That's all I have for today. As always, guys, thank you for all of you. I, I'm doing these little mini giveaways because I really would like to, you know, give away as much as I can to as many people. So I started the idea in my head of doing smaller, but more because I think it's fun to get something, even if it's a little thing that you haven't been able to find on your own. I just love the idea of it. So let me know what you guys think of these little mini giveaways. And as always guys, stay safe and stay savvy. Bye-bye.